What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your girl Yinka, your favorite hoodoo SD. And I know you come to the best womb healer and steam dealer to get the 411 on everything related to Yanni Steaming. So thank you so much for um, investing into your healing journey and even wanting to get the information that you are going to learn today. So the what the whole objective of this video is to pretty much let y'all know everything all the frequently asked questions that i get about yanni steaming the do's the don'ts the um why's and how's everything that you possibly can think of um in a short amount of time emphasis on a short amount of time because y'all know i like to ramble but um, i'm getting everything in a condensed amount of time if you want to learn more information after this then i advise you to download my course um my yanni steaming course and that course is for people who want to continue their learning on education or and learning on education of herbs and Yanni statement and becoming a Yanni statement facilitator. So let's dive right in. So the main question is, what is Yanni statement? So I still in 2021 get so many women who are asking me what is yanni steaming i'm still scared i don't i don't get it i don't put too much stuff up there i don't and that, that, that. a whole bunch of bullshit i <laughs> i am here to let you know that yanni steaming is not invasive and a lot of you are scared to steam because you simply just are ignorant to what it is and what it does and I don't blame you being that it has become a trend over the past couple years, but I'm going to let you know that I was steaming and um, actually being a facilitator way before it became a trend. So um, these are one of the few things that I'm glad is trending, but I don't like the negative um, look it gets because it's trending, but it's, it's a good trend. I can honestly say, so I'm not mad at it. But um, what is yawning steaming? So the act of yawning steaming is simply um, boiling herbs that have medicinal properties in them and um, sitting over them to allow the steam to work its magic through your womb. So what is yawning? The word yawning translates literally to sacred place or a sacred space. So um, when I use the word Yanni, I am talking about the whole womb. I'm talking about the vagina, the womb, the uterus, your ovaries, all of that, the whole system. That's what I'm referring to when I say Yanni steaming or Yanni this, Yanni that. Some people use it when they're talking about just their womb itself or when they're talking about their vagina, whatever your sacred space is or however you want to identify with it. Um, Yanni steaming, V steaming, they're the same thing. Um, but I use v steaming is the more clinical term vaginal steaming is a more clinical term but i do this for the spiritual benefits as well so i make sure that i'm intentional with what i'm the words that i'm saying and i want to refer to my sacred space exactly what it is which is a yoni so um that's just the terminology and background on that so what yoni steaming i told you what it is um and what it means but where does it come from where why do we practice it why has it resurfaced so um it is a ancient chinese practice um African ancestors use it as well um but it's pretty much their way of their that was their way of douching their that was their way of a ceremonial um honor to their to their womb to their sacred sacred space a lot of us in today's society we disown our womb like we we have no respect for our god-given womb like uh if you knew how powerful you were how powerful you were just to be a woman how powerful you were to have a womb especially if you've given birth before you would put some respect on your womb but a lot of us do not um take the time to honor our womb to take the time to honor how precious we are to be women we don't take the time to do all of that and i want to change that narrative that is the whole reason why i do what i do is to change that outlook for um for us and for especially for women my age who have little girls um daughters nieces whatever to change that stigma of how they view their wounds how they view their cycles how they view uh giving birth all of that can easily be changed um 
and I'm here to to prove you guys to prove to you guys that it can be changed so um, I'm gonna try to keep this in, in a short amount of time and try to stay focused and not go into rant mode but I'm very passionate if I do so excuse me I'm very passionate about what I do um, what brought me into this to this lifestyle into this um because it is a lifestyle but into this line of work what brought me into it is when i look at the statistics um of black women who are the highest rate of uh high risk pregnancies the highest rate of miscarriages and stillbirth the highest rates of um everything related to death as a whole as a community that's just that's us on both sides but when it comes to the womb stuff if we are not creating if we're not if we're not here to create then there is the lineage that is the culture that is our people if we're not here to reproduce so um i'm here to stop that stigma i'm here to stop this epidemic um there should be no reason why i have clients that are 25 26 years old telling me that the doctor is recommending that hysterectomies there is an agenda on our lives they want us to start reproducing and they're starting with getting us on birth control at such young ages and I'm just disgusted by the numbers so that is why I do what I do that's why I'm so passionate about it because without us there if we're not reproducing then there, there goes the culture if we're not reproducing then there goes our lineage so I have to start at the source which is us you know what I'm saying it's, it's us so <laughs> that's how I got into what I'm doing and again our ancestors did this this is not although people may think it's a, a new trend this is very much so old-fashioned very much so um ritual spiritual in that way it is not nothing new is and nothing new under the sun anyway but it's it's a trend that i'm glad that people have gotten back to because it was well needed and and i'm pretty sure the ancestors are ready for was ready for us to tap back into this anyway just holistic living in, in general not just steaming but you know and as a whole so um, next, uh, the next question I will get most often is what are the benefits of steaming? So, um, I tell you all the time, the list of what steaming does and how it's so useful is so long. I cannot count them all on my hands and toes. Um, I can't do it all cause there's so many benefits of it, especially if you have a good blend, especially if you're targeting certain areas. Um, there's so many benefits to Yanni steaming. Um, some of the main ones that I get are chronic infections, so UTIs, yeast infections, VVs, um, anything of that nature that is definitely cured with uh, and treated with um, Yanni steaming. You have miscarriages and infertility, women who just can't get or haven't been introduced to a way to get pregnant, um, women who have constant miscarriages. Um, I work with women like that all the time as well and this it, it works it helps um it also with pcos um i actually have not been able to get a client that came to me with pcos to stay consistent to actually see the work done or to do the work to actually change their lifestyle to actually see the results that they need to see but pcos is definitely one of those things that um a lot of us uh deal with along with fibroids and cysts um all of that can be very much so treated and cured with yanni semen also irregular cycles which is another form of pcos or one of the symptoms of pcos um and severe cramps and um bleeding for weeks at a time when it comes to your cycles um very bad P pms and the list goes on y'all it goes on it's so many benefits on a physical aspect of what yanni steaming does as well as what it does on a spiritual aspect so if anybody knows my backstory i've said this multiple times on my pages um how i began to how i got into yanni steaming it came on the spiritual side that was me before i started selling them um but when i started steaming it came from it when i started my healing journey i was introduced to it um, when I started my healing journey, I got into pole dancing and my um, d uh, dance instructor, she had had uh, where we practice uh she had a yanni boutique and so she was always giving me information on yanni steaming and the herbs and the um 
the eggs and uh the pearls all that information she she had a yoni boutique so she was giving me those information and i started steaming on that like that was like an intuitive thing and i started you know healing past um ex relationships and um, letting go of uh, sexual trauma that I have been through um, growing up and things that I've experienced sexually like those type of traumas it helped me heal through that and then as I was starting my business because at that time I was selling hair but as I you know started my healing process I wanted to be more meaningful I wanted to have a bigger impact on the world and I'm like how can I um, incorporate something that's more holistic something that's more uh, meaningful into my business and that's how I got into Yanni steaming and as you can see the hair went out the way because during my healing journey I started my locks anyway so I was like yeah um some gotta give and and I just had to it was a complete like life-changing experience and I I went that's when I started being um like a year or so after that I went into veganism and all the whole nine but um that's when my awakening started when I started doing it for my spiritual reasons and then I looked into the other benefits of it and that's when I came across um the physical benefits of it as well and i've been steaming ever since so i've been steaming for about four or five years total and i've been in business almost four years so it makes sense right so um yeah why would not share share the knowledge um the next thing i wanted to talk about is how to do it safely so i have come across a lot of women who said that they're scared to steam and I, like i said them uh, most people are scared to steam just because they're ignorant as to what um how to steam and the benefits of it so since i just gave you the benefits how to steam especially if you don't have a yanni kit and um, when i say kit i just mean a yanni stool a burner and a gown those are the only three things you need to actually steam comfortably um and what i consider a kit to steam so um and a pot so um if you don't have a kit the best way for you to steam is to I like to say use a crock pot just because a crock pot is still something that is covered is something that you are least likely to burn yourself on and it's also going to keep the heat the whole time because you can keep it um, on a low temperature and, and steam for as long as you want to. The only thing with um, people who don't have a, a kit, you risk the chance of being uncomfortable during your, um, during your steam and that's what the last thing that I want you to do because a lot of people stare get away from steaming because they don't have a kit and my thing is if you're going to invest into your healing invest into your healing get a kit get something that is going to be comfortable for you to do it don't um, make the excuse of I don't want to sit on my hands and knees for 30 to 45 minutes I don't want to squat over a pot for 30 to 45 minutes obviously that's going to be uncomfortable obviously everybody isn't physically equipped to do that so you need to invest into there are plenty of things on Amazon that you can actually um, uh, buy. There are plenty of YouTube videos on how to, if you're on my email list, I send that out. Um, I think that goes out in a few days, um, a DIY video, or I've already sent it out, honestly, um, a DIY video on how to make your own stool at, out of like a crate or whatever, just taking a few planks out of it and rigging it up. Like the only thing that matters is that you are in a comfortable position and that you can sit in that position for a, a period of time. And I, that period of time is usually from 30 to 45 minutes, no more than an hour, no less than 30 minutes. Um, the the main thing that when it comes to safety what you want to do first before anything else is to disinfect your area make sure that your area is clean I, and i mean clean not just soap and water wiping it down making sure you're using some type of disinfectant like barbicide or um i would even say something a little stronger than lysol like maybe ammonia or something like that but making sure that it's, it's so clean that you don't have to worry about any other bacteria coming into you while you're steaming because um, steam does create chemical reactions and that goes to my next point of never steaming with um, plastic um, I know a lot of people I don't know when that trend started well I think that came out when people start trending Yanni steaming but using those little plastic uh, little thingies 
no you you should never be uh steaming in plastic at all heat and plastic makes a chemical reaction that will literally have toxins going inside of you and that will completely be pointless of you to steam if you are putting toxins in you the same thing for bad bacteria so the next thing would be never to steam in the bathroom like i just feel like that is just mind-blowing the fact that that y'all even think that that's okay if you have anybody Tell, selling you one of those little plastic little seat things if you have anybody who's telling you to use one of those little plastic things on the toilet you got somebody who don't know what the hell they're doing you have somebody who's following a trend trying to sell you something just because it is a profitable business and that is something that you don't want to do uh, when it comes to um when it comes to yanni steaming when it comes to stuff that is something as sensitive as your vagina you do not want to be um using or getting products or referring to people who have no type of for one common sense and for two somebody who doesn't have knowledge on herbs somebody who doesn't have knowledge or have the their their brand isn't it has an in, in integrity that they want the best quality for their clients and they're just trying to sell you something for profit you know like that that takes you guys doing your own research and i'm gonna get to that in the end um the next thing you want to do on how to do it safely you want to boil water and before i continue you're making sure that you're using distilled water i 100 recommend distilled water and a runner-up would be spring water but you never are using tap water you're never using tap water the same reason is because of the chemicals in those type of waters i don't even drink tap water um it's, it's just not good for you it's too many chemicals on those pipelines um you never know and i've never drank city water ever um it just tastes like pennies to me but you don't want to put those chemicals inside of you um the same thing for purified water because purified water is still tap water it's just going through a little weak ass filter so <laughs> you want to make sure that you're using distilled water and um if you don't have distilled water then secondly i will use spring water just because it's the next best thing to fresh water um you want to boil the water and allow it to and this is if you don't have a kit you want to boil the water in a pan an aluminum pan um and make sure that is a non-stick pan is a not is not a non-stick pan because um from what from my research, I see that those nonstick pans have a lot of chemicals in it, in it as well. I try to not even cook with those um, as much nowadays. Um, I try not to cook with them at all. I'm trying to get rid of them all together, but that's a process, you know, that's a journey. But as far as steaming, I, I, I will make sure that I give you the best information and not um not using those non-stick pans but just using another pot and that uh i kind of recommend that's why i recommend the crock pots because it's that porcelain material so those are the best thing if you're using a bowl you want to use a porcelain bowl or the um aluminum bowls those are the best bowls to use as well um and you want to make sure that you are allowing it to cool down uh give it about seven to ten minutes to allow it to cool down once you take it off the eye and before you sit over it i know when i first started steaming and i was telling my doctor about it um she was just like um oh well you know people burn themselves and that was li literally the only negative thing that she could say about um steaming i'm like because what's wrong with that and she was just like well um uh, some people burn themselves using it and I'm like that's your fault if you not don't have the sense enough to know that something is burning you and getting the fuck up um, unless you have some type of sensory uh, deficiency that you can't feel heat that way there's no reason why you don't have the sense enough to feel that something is hot and that you need to let it cool down like yeah <laughs> I can't even I can't even feel bad for you because it's, it's common sense like if it's too hot let it cool the fuck down y'all like come on now and um yeah for the burners is that's why i always recommend the kit and i also recommend a crock pot because you can just put it on a warm temperature and let it do its thing you don't have to think too much about it if you're using a burner put it on a medium to low temperature and let it do its thing you don't have to worry about it the only thing you want to worry about is making sure that you don't that you don't um 
let it burn for too long or you know it's not over an hour that you're um it's not over an hour that you're steaming or under an hour um under 30 minutes when you're steaming but other than that let it do its thing um it's way more complicated or not complicated but it's way more things to do the process is just longer um it's more uncomfortable when you don't have a kit so i advise you to um get invest in a kit but just if you want to test it out to see if it's something that you like doing i always i don't want not having a kit to be an excuse as to why you don't start your healing journey um the next thing um is to make sure that you're in a secluded area this is not just a treatment but it's also a um a self-love ritual it is literally a self-love ritual you don't want to just be steaming and you know talking on the phone and you know granted sometimes I do do that because if I'm in treatment mode when I'm just you know routinely steaming after my cycle then I don't mind like sometimes I've been on live while I've, I've steam and sometimes I'm in a meeting while I'm steaming but um if I'm actually taking time to say, okay, this is self-love time. This is time for me to honor my womb. This is time for me to, and I usually do, do those type before my cycle. Um, but if I'm in a, a, a state like that, phones off, not even in the same room. I got my aromatherapy going. I have my incense going. I got my sage burning. I got the candles lit. It's a, it's a whole mood. And that's what you can expect when you come and get services with me because I, I make sure I set the tone that you go into a meditative state automatically, although it's going to feel good regardless because it feels good like it's a warm sensation um it, it feels amazing as it is but when you set the tone when you bring your mind down you when you bring your thought processes down when you're not worried about anything you're just you know affirming your womb and you know you're speaking life over yourself it's a whole mood y'all it's a whole mood and you don't want to be interrupted by children you don't want to be up interrupted by your phone your partner whatever you don't want to have any type of any type of interruptions you want to give this time to you it's, it's a self-love time it's time for you to focus on you and nothing else matters so kids or no kids turn your phone off and give yourself you can give yourself at least 30 minutes like the world ain't gonna come to an end because you're going for 30 minutes okay <laughs> so give yourself that time um and also if you don't have a kit uh well kit or not like um you want to be in a secluded area because you don't want people just coming around accidentally knocking it over and, or you reach it for something trying to get something for somebody and you end up you know the towel or i mean the uh, blanket or your gown might pull something and knock something over you just want to be still and be in that moment and being present in what you're doing and what you're trying to accomplish in that time you don't need any distractions around you um yeah that's pretty much it as far as safety wise the next question i get a lot is when to steam when to steam when to steam so i can better tell you when not to steam because being that steaming is not invasive there's no not really a time that you can't steam um uh, uh, there's not really a time that you can really steam too much it's just there are times you shouldn't steam at all and those times are when you are pregnant you should never steam when you're pregnant it could cause a miscarriage you never steam when you're bleeding because it can uh, uh, cause you to bleed longer than you would like to and you're not supposed to be bleeding longer than five days anyway so you don't want anything to happen that you're bleeding longer than that time um you don't want to steam ever after a wax um i know it's some some, some sisters out there who giving y'all steams and vajayshas and all of that after a wax but as an esthetician first you are never supposed to be applying heat after you have removed skin after you have removed a layer of skin you're not supposed to be adding any type of heat on top of that so that goes for vajayshas and um steaming you don't want to have any heat you want to wait at least 24 to 48 hours before you um before you uh steam if you just got a wax and that's brazilian or bikini any type of waxing down there you want to make sure that you don't apply any heat or uh, be oh, sitting over top of any heat before um and during that time 
And then the last thing, you never want to steam when you have any type of outbreak. So if you are herpes positive and you have an outbreak, you do not want to steam during that time either because of the same reason. You open sores, any cuts, any open wounds, you don't want to make that reaction um, go negative by applying heat to it. So um, that's the main thing. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. Those are my main. Oh, um, the next question I get a lot is about birth control with steaming. So the main question I get it with is with the IUD, but I'm going to answer it for both IUD and general birth control. So being on birth control and steaming will not do anything negative to your body. Um, it, it, it's not going to do anything. It's not invasive. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, but... As a disclaimer, I can't speak for nobody else's themes. I can only speak for my blends and what my herbs, the power of my herbs can do. If you are on birth control and you are steaming on my with my steams, you are risking the chance for your, well not even the chance, it will decrease the effectiveness of your birth control and that is a fact. The whole point and if you are dealing with somebody who is, uh, you, you ask them and they're like, oh no girl, you can get it, um, ain't nothing gonna happen. The herbs are, like I've literally had people say like the herbs aren't powerful enough to stop your birth control i don't know what herbs you got but baby mine mine uh <laughs> mine gonna step mine gonna step because the whole point of steaming is to bring your womb back to its natural state and its natural state is fertility its natural state is no foreign objects in it so if you are using a product that is counteracting that and making it not be fertile and making you not ovulate, then it is going to be working against that. And the power of my steams, I can't speak for nobody else's blends, but you will still be able to get pregnant whether you're on birth control or not. When it comes to the IUD, um, the same thing applies as far as the effectiveness of it, but you also risk a percentage of the chance of your cervix being softened um, to a point where it can come out. Um, that's not as likely as it is defecting it. It's going to defect the... Um, to decrease the effectiveness regardless but as far as it actually coming out um it's a lesser chance but you do have a it is a possibility that you can loosen your cervix enough for it to come out of um come out of place from where it is so that's another disclaimer to be careful for but um like i tell anybody who asks me that because nine times out of ten once i tell y'all that disclaimer you're like oh well i was gonna try but never mind um don't do that. Please stop being ignorant. Um, if you're going to continue to follow me, follow me the way that, the, the way that, I'm not going to tell you how to follow me, but you know, if you're going to take some from it, take some from it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not talking for my health. I'm not telling y'all all of this for my, for the joy of it. Like, I'm not on this path just for the fun of it. I'm really out here trying to heal us. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really out here trying to find other leaders who are like-minded, who are out here and tired of these numbers looking the way they look tired of um our pregnancies being so high risk tired of us being in a doctor's office and being undermined when we're telling them about our symptoms and how we're feeling and how we're in pain if you are somebody who feel like that then i i advise you to wake the fuck up and and realize that this is not a game we are in 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 go mode right now there is literally a war on on us it, it has always been, but there's literally a war on us in our fertility when you have girls younger than 30 years old being offered hysterectomies, um, being told that there's nothing that we, they can do about it, being told that PCOS is uncurable, being told that they're going to be infertile and there's nothing they can do about it. They want us to stop reproducing. And until y'all get as mad about it, those numbers as I am, then it's pointless. But stop coming to me if you don't want some real healing because I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on women who really want to heal i'm focusing on women who really want to change these numbers and, and set up these um set up their their next generation and their offspring and their offspring for a better quality of life you do not have to live with these um with these problems for the rest of your life you don't have to be infertile for the rest of your life stop letting people tell you what you can and can't do stop telling letting people tell you that the source is the problem that you you can't uh that, that this is a problem Stop telling it because all they're doing with those medications is, is mimicking this. This is not an alternative healing. This is the source. Stop letting them fuck over y'all like that. Stop letting them play you like that. Stop. Because I'm personally tired of it. And I'm personally tired of y'all coming to me in my DMs like, 
yeah I, I wanted to try it but i don't want to get pregnant as if you don't have full control of the way you get pregnant or not you have full control over that and if you don't think you have full control of it then you need to go download my free ebook secrets to a goddess pussy and and start that that mental healing first Start that mental healing first because obviously it's something in you that you don't feel worthy enough to respect your body enough to stop letting a man ejaculate in you like you some cum rag. You, you don't have, you don't love yourself enough to stop dealing with people who throw your pH balance off because their spirit ain't right. You stop, stop disrespecting yourself enough by not trusting your intuition when your spirit telling you to leave somebody alone, but you, you just so comfortable and you just so, so desperate to be loved or so desperate to be beside somebody that you scared to go with them and do the inner work so that you can uh stop being around people that's like that because you're so scared to lose a friend so scared to lose a man that ain't doing nothing for you until y'all wake up and get on that level of healing stop coming to me with that bullshit stop coming to me because i'm, I'm here for people who really want to heal i i don't mind i know it's a journey for everybody and I already set intentions that if you come across any type of my content on any platform, if anybody forwarded anything to you, but if you see me in any way, shape, or form, you're already in alignment with getting your healing journey. So I know it's a process. I know that it takes time. I know that, you know, some people learn on a quicker basis and some people, you know, got to bump their head a few times. I understand that. I understand that. I understand that. I, I get it. I get it. But at the same time, it's, it's, a little, it's a little bit too late for your, us to be, still be playing these same games. We have to get it together. It's too much at stake right now. It's too many people dying right now. It's too many, it's too many spiritual warfares going on in, all over the world for us not to get it now. Like, it, it's too much. It's too much. And I, and I understand that the mass is going gonna, is gonna to be the majority of people going to be sick. Of, of the majority of people want to be popular. The, mo, the majority of the people want to follow the crowd and, and do what everybody else is doing. But for the select few of you who truly want some healing, the select few of you who, who truly understand what I'm saying right now, who, who this is resonating with you in the core of your heart, I welcome you. I welcome you to the sister circle. I welcome you with open arms. <laughs> I welcome you for open arms. And I hope that you get all the healing that you deserve. I hope that you get all the love that you deserve. All the wealth that you deserve. And I affirm that over your life right now. For the rest of y'all who's still playing games, it's time to wake up. We don't have no more time. We don't have no more time to be out here uh pussyfooting in these streets and and playing playing nice and playing safe we we have to aggressively start to heal our land we have to aggressively start taking back our throne we have to aggressively start back uh taking a village to raise these children together because it's too much going on in the world it's too much things that stacked up against us but you have my support if, if you are one of those, it, it might not be easy for you. You have my, my support, my 100% support, because I'm always here to support people who are trying. I'm not here to judge anybody for their journey. I'm not here to judge anybody um, for making mistakes and relapsing and for their struggle to, to get into this because it's a journey. I did the same thing. I said the same thing. You're not saying nothing to me that I ain't never said before. I said it all. I've done it all. So you're not coming to me saying nothing new. But I'm here to support people who are really, truly ready to heal. What, no matter how many times they, they fall and get back up, I'm going to be here as a support system for you to make sure that you overall get back up and keep going. Ashe? So, I hope that everything that that answers everything, that's, that was usually on my frequently asked questions. Um, and I will have my course available for you guys if you want to go into actually selling herbs and becoming your own leader in your community and influencing women to get on this lifestyle change and start to healing our nation. Um, make sure that you uh, follow up with me and inquire about that and I'll give you the details to that. But other than that, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being present and God bless.